Yo, what's going on boys? Today I'm going to be trying something so crazy, I don't think anyone else in Clash Royale has tried it before, so if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'm going to try to get top 1 with Expo Rage. It's going to be kind of tough, but I think I could do it. And also shout out to one of my viewers for giving me the idea, I'm going to kind of show the chat, and also give him credit for this, but he basically came up with a deck and said that it was a really good deck, and I kind of tweaked it around. I knew that Expo Rage is like a pretty good combo, but I never thought I could run it on top ladder, but... This guy actually had a variant that was like running it on mid ladder or like almost top ladder ish, I guess. So I kind of tweaked it around, made it like counter drill and stuff as well. I mean, it already counters like all the Night Witch decks, which is kind of popular on top ladder right now. So yeah, I'm gonna try top one. I don't know if I can get it, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a good attempt. Also, guys, in this video, I'm thinking maybe I'll try to open like a mystery box in like the middle of the video. I need to play three games first though, but yeah, I'm thinking maybe I'll try to open that thing on recording for good luck because i've opened like what like eight nine of them so far and i've gotten nothing but like 10 common cards like five epic cards 20 rare cards like 1500 gold or whatever but yeah hopefully i'm gonna open one on recording and get like a legendary book of books or something but that was good defense this matchup though surprisingly i don't think is that good because i don't have a log right and remy plays marcher i need the log desperately for the marcher but wait, I'm gonna try to spam him. I try to bomb tower NATO back. I think with the skeletons in his deck, I could definitely try to do some like interesting stuff. Wait, right here I might win. I'm gonna bomber, dodge the log. Wait, I'm gonna electric spear. I'm probably gonna rage on the knight. Oh, he forgot to pull it back, or he actually missed the pull back. Okay, I couldn't rage on time, so my knight's going to die. But guardian might get one shot. A right, really good start. Even though I feel like ah, uh, I don't know, it's gonna be tough to secure the window. I don't really have a big spell. No, that was meant to be a knight. Oops, oops, oops. Um. I'm Loki. Tell me why I'm Loki glad that was not a knight because he would have marched at the bridge. Okay, I'm gonna go for Electro Spirit. I'm probably gonna Fire Spirit here to block the marcher. Gonna knight on this too. Oh, he's gonna tornado, isn't he? Yup. Just go for the tornado. I just realized after I played the knight that he was going to tornado. He plays really aggressive, so like I should have known. I'm gonna go for a rage right now on the wall breaker. Okay, I need to go for a pump. Like I need to get some pumps down right now because I'm not gonna get the same sequence if I don't get some down right now. Okay, I need to go for. Oh my god, that was a good log. For some reason, I thought he would maybe try to log in the middle for the pump, but he logged on the tower and hit one of my spirits, so that was good damage. I'm going to bomber on this side. Alright, he's not going to get damage off that. Yep, he's not going to tornado because that would be so much elixir. See what he does here. I'm going to go for an LP in the back. I'm just going to knight high because not back to marcher, so I can actually play a knight on defense here. I'm going to axe ball on defense here for the evil breakers or just the normal breakers because I'm kind of scared right now. I need to pop the ability. I feel like he might try to march her. Yeah, I just made sure to pop the ability to make sure that I get the guardian on the other side. Yo, what? My bomber died to drill. Okay. Hello? Huh? I mean, what the hell? I didn't know that was a thing. My bomber just randomly died to a goblin drill. All right, guys. I don't know if I'm made for this comeback, but I will try. And you guys already know what I'm about to say. If I do come back from this, make sure to like and subscribe. I will say my games against Remy are always close and I always seem to come back. Yo, rage on the expo. Oh my god. Cook, 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 cook. Cook. Wait, good predict on the spear gobs. Okay, tornado. I need a I need a lock again. I need I have to get a lock. I cannot rage cycle. If it was a log, then it would be a different thing because I could actually defend, but <laughs> with a rage, I have to. I'm gonna fire spirit. Okay, I need to expo again. I need to expo. No, the old expo died. I'm gonna go for an evil bomber on the spear gobs. So maybe get a quick lock. Oh, wait, marcher. Oh! Oh, evil bomber cook. No way. Okay, you guys have to like and subscribe and make sure to leave a nice comment for my guy, friend of unfriendly nature. Shout out to the goat. If I beat Remy like that in that matchup, then I can definitely get top one today. Come on, let's go. Okay, half an hour later and I pushed up a lot. Like I'm like top almost 20, I think. This game's gonna put me in top 20 if I beat Riley, but facing Riley, um, I think he's streaming. I was on his stream like 20 minutes or so ago. I think he's playing Goblin Jill with like Valk and... Could be Knight, but I think he's playing like Mother Witch, LP, Zap, and stuff like that. Okay. Should be a good matchup though. He can't really touch my pumps, so I should just be able to stack up like a lot of pumps right off the bat, especially after I got pumped first play. Well, second play, but technically it is first play because I only had to play one Elixir card to get it back. I'm going to protect my LP with a Knight, and then I'll just go for like a second pump. I'll try to stack up my pumps right now since I have the LP down, so I guess I'll go pump in the back, and then I'll try to play a card. I'll try to play a spirit like quickly like right now that way i'm back to pump in two cards okay that was a really good zap gonna take out the lp but okay just gonna knight over here for the pig and then i'm back to pumping one card so i'm just gonna electro spirit in the back and then i'm already back to pump 
Oh, look at that. Three pumps down in a little bit over a minute. That's actually kind of crazy. This deck is crazy, not gonna lie. And I don't think that he knows that I have a rage. So maybe I could like cheese him in a little bit. I'm not really too sure, but we'll see. I'm gonna Electro Spirit over here. And then that was a good zap, but I'm gonna be up like a ton of Elixir now. Yeah, I don't know how he defends this, to be honest. If I just go Expo and then Knight, then I think I'm cooking. He can't do much. Bomb Tower down low, okay. I'm gonna make sure to get my ability off here. All right, and then I'll try to go for a Rage on the Expo and the LP. Because I need to Rage up the Expo, get it on the tower, and that would be amazing. Okay, he kind of has no Elixir, but I think he'll have enough for LP now. So I'm going to go for a Predict. Perfect. Wait, I'm going to go for a Fire Spirit too? Yeah, I knew that he was really low, so he could only afford an LP on the Expo. But I predicted it with a Bomber and Electro Spirit, so that should be game. Oh, he's back to Evo Zap. Okay, I need to Expo on the other side. He's back to Goblins right now, so I'm just going to Rage on the Goblins and get the Expo on the tower. Yeah, he's back to zero Elixir, so he can't really defend the Expo. Okay, he might be able to Alp or something though, double elixir. I think he, yeah, I think he let it go, okay. Really good matchup for me, I don't really blame him to be honest. Nothing he could have done here, because I stacked up a lot of pumps early and yeah, just inevitable, like he just couldn't defend the dual land pressure. Also guys, probably a good time to mention, thank you so much for everybody who helped me out in the last comment section by um, telling me what to eat after gym. I never actually knew that you're also supposed to eat like fruits and stuff after gym, but I'm gonna start doing that now and I'm also gonna try to eat more like home cooked meals. So thank you so much for everyone who helped out once again. I appreciate that a lot. Plus 24, okay, I'm gonna be up at like, maybe like top, ooh, 12. Hold up, I could actually do this. All right, I'm in my next match here. Facing Hunter, facing the best ice ball player in the entire planet. Also make sure to go check out his channel and show him some love, by the way, amazing gameplay. But anyways, gonna bomber the back here. Okay, I'm kind of familiar with this playstyle. I faced him a lot this season, and I feel like I could win this if I just played smart. Even though I don't have like a good small spell, I have a rage and not not even a big spell, so a defensive expo could actually kind of be pain here. Wait, he's gonna have to eat the bomber. Yeah, nice. Okay, good damage because if he didn't eat the bomber, then he would be at like one elixir, because he already cycled log and skeleton, so he would have to go for like either an ice Wiz or a knight. And if he actually committed to those, I would just go expo and then late knight in front to block the tesla, and I would just win the game. Hold up. Wait, that tornado was very bad, I think. I might win the game here. He's not back to rock here, right? So he's going to try and get away with the Tesla here. But if I block the Tesla, like, I don't even need to get the ability off. I just need to block it right now and then go for, like, an Electro Spirit to make sure that the Axe finishes it off. Yeah, that should be a lock. And I'm going to block the Axe for as long as I can. Like, I'm going to Fire Spirit and then I'm just going to Bomber. I know that he's going to log or whatever, but that's a lot of damage. Okay. To be fair though, I kind of needed that edge in this kind of matchup because I don't really have a big spell once again. So I need to get like a lot of damage early on and I was able to do that. I'm also going to pump in the middle in a minute here, but I need to make sure that he doesn't go in. I feel like knowing him, he might try to Axe at the same time I go pump, so I'm not going to get predicted. I'm just going to literally leak my elixir and just wait for him to Axe Like I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to stay here and just wait for him. Okay, there we go. Nice. All right, I needed that. If you wait for them to expo first and then pump, that is like the safest pump you can ever play in Clash Royale. Also, he knew that he couldn't defend the expo because I would just pop the ability. Okay, wait, I'm going to pop the ability on the left and maybe try to get a Fire Spirit damage on the right because I feel like he might be focused on defending the Guardian and he might let the Fire Spirit go. Come on, let it go, please. Nah, he's going to defend. Yeah, he's going to let the Guardian go instead. Wait, I have an idea. Um, I'm going to just Evil Bomber at the bridge into the Ice Wiz and get damage. Evil Knight's going to be tanking for it, so... He might have to tornado. Oh, really bad night. It didn't block the bomber. Okay, I'm going to LP in the middle. He might try to expo opposite or something, but I'm going to be back to a knight in no time. So I'm just going to knight at the bridge and then try to go for a bomber because he's not back to knight. Going to have to defend my push on the right still. So I'm going to pop my ability here, keep everything alive. Okay, that's a good rage on the tower. I'll cycle rage. I need to start like raging on the tower because I don't think I can get a lock anymore. So I just have to kind of play it safe, um, get damage, and then yeah, just kind of rage on the tower. I just go for the rocket on my tower, but I'll be honest, I'm up like a lot of damage for him to be able to come back. He's gonna have to get a lock, like he has to get a lock to win this, and I don't see him getting a lock because I'm gonna just focus on full defending. I'm gonna be super careful, just defend, 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 defend. Really bad Tesla, by the way. I think he thought that I was gonna Evo Bomber or something, but that's a wasted Evo Tesla right there. We take that. Mm, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna pop my ability here. Uh, I mean, I could bomber, but kind of too late now. It's not going to hit the tower. I'm going to rage, though. Okay, let's go for the Ice Wiz in the back. I'm going to Axe here to try to beat out the rocket on the Axe Bill. Yeah, if I beat that out, then he can't rocket on the tower. Let's go. Okay, going to Fire Spirit, too. Maybe try to beat out, like, a Knight. 
Okay, he's gonna axe bow. I'm gonna line it up. Nice. Perfect. Oh my god, that was amazing. That's hitting the axe bow for two shots, by the way. Okay, only one shot now, but it was hitting for two shot. And now I go axe bow. He can't defend this. It's not possible to defend this, I don't think. Yeah, let's go. Okay, kind of dominated that game. That was a really nice game. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed that game, by the way. But that is gonna put me at, let's see, top nine. Okay, looking good. Come on, I need to, I need to win a few more games. All right, guys, it's time. Time to pull out a book of books. Oh my god, dude, I never get anything but common. I'm gonna get like 20 gold. Look at that. All right, in my next match here, facing Betfuss. He also plays Expo, but he low-key fell off. I'm not even gonna lie. No hitting or anything, but he kind of fell off. Like, he stopped playing Expo for a while, but now he's trying to pick it back up. And I am not a big fan of the gameplay. He's playing the same deck that I was playing like a few days ago, by the way. It's, um, what do you call it? Bomber Bow. And I think he has matchup by a lot here, so he should be able to win. But I'm really good at mirrors though, so maybe I'll be able to do something. Okay, this is like a really safe pump in the back right now because he's only at two elixir. With all this stuff down on the field, he should only be at like maybe four right now. So he's gonna fireball. I'm gonna fire spear on the right and take the damage. Nice. Okay. Wait, I'm also gonna electro spear. I feel like he only has like an expo, log, Tesla, and a bomber. So he's not gonna want to put any of those cards on the electro spear. Let's go. All right, good damage on the tower. Um, he might try to go in sometime soon. I need to watch out. Actually, I'm going to kind of make a boss of steel play right here. I know this expo might be bad, but I'm going to go in because I feel like if I manage to kill his bomber on my expo, right? Lock on the bomber, please. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I won. Wow. Sometimes you just got to go for it, you know, and you just win the games because now I'm going to rage on the expo and there's going to be a raged up expo on the tower. He's going to log in the bomber again, but that's fine. Look at all that damage here. Look at how quick that's shooting. Oh my God. <laughs> no way dude i got like over 1500 damage in literally no time that was like actually so sick let's go a lot of damage right there i'm definitely gonna win this game now because i'm back to evil knight i'm gonna pump in the back left here kind of a safe pump because he can't get any damage right now i can defend the expos fine and he kind of missed out on his chance of getting a lock in single elixir because i played it really safe and i also went in at the right time to make him defend so now he can't go in all right should be able to win now um if I was him, I would just give up here with all due respect. I don't think he's coming back from this, but yeah, I'll just go in again. Yeah, I knew that he was kind of waiting for me to go in because I didn't think he would want to go in again after that. But going to rage on here. Not going to let the bomber hit my expo. No, 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 no. Okay, Electro Spirit. Knight again. All right. That was a lot of elixir. Okay, I'm going to pump in the back left here. I know that he's getting fireball damage on the pump every time, but it's okay. I'm baiting out the fireball on the pump. That way I can go Axe Bow on the right and then try to get damage. I'm just going to Axe Bow again. Okay, maybe I'll be able to get like a evil bomber on the knight, hopefully. Okay, I'm going to pop the ability here. I'm going to get the Electro Spirit down so I can kind of save the Axe and maybe sneak in like a tiny lock. No, I was trying to get a lock, but he played a bomber. It's okay. All right, guys, I think it's about time we had another GOAT discussion. It's been over a year since like... We had an expo go discussion and right now only like two or three people are dominating with expo it's gonna be me hunter and titan i personally think i don't want to say like i don't want to say who's the best or the worst but my favorite expo player right now other than me is going to be hunter um hunter's gameplay is just really amazing with ice bow i haven't seen him play any other expo decks though but He's just like untouchable with Ispo. And then next up, I want to say Titan for Expo 3.0. I mean, I would give it to Betfuss, but this guy kind of just stopped playing Expo for a while. And then now he can't play Expo 3.0, even if he tried to. I'm sorry, but yeah, going to pop my ability here. Okay, he just kind of plays like Bomber Boar or switches back to like Goblin Drill or whatever to try to push up if he tilts with Expo. But anyway, it's going to Expo on the right here. I'll try to get like a Knight down in front to block. Yo, that's going to hit the other tower. Oh, let's go. Wait, two shots? Oh, I only got one. If that was the old bomber, it definitely would have gotten two. But I feel like he might fireball the expo, so I'm going to pump in the back. Let's go. Good prediction on that. Nice. Okay, now I've got two pumps on the field heading into triple elixir, and I'm up like a ton of damage. I'm up like 1,500. More than that, actually. Up like a lot, so he can't do much. I just have to play it safe, and I'm going to be able to win the game. So I'm going to pump. Actually, should I pump again? I don't know if I should. I guess I'll pump in the back here again. Okay, I'll just go for a knight. He might try to rotate back to like another fireball, try to play it on the back right, but I'm just going to axe bow on defense, make him choose whatever he wants to fireball. I'm going to put the axe bow down. doesn't even matter if I put it on the same lane because I don't care if he gets the damage. I feel like I'm still going to win the game by a lot, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, going to knight right now. Okay, bomber should hit the axe bow. Nice. I'm going to go for an axe bow, shove it all the way up high so he can't hit it with a fireball. 
I'm gonna rage on the tower. I don't need to get a lock. I'm gonna bomb around the side. That's not gonna hit my tower, I don't think. Okay, I'm looking good. Wait, why is my elixir set out S7? Why is it capped at 7? I didn't even pop the ability. Give me my elixir back. Bro, it just took my elixir. When am I gonna get it back? Okay, let me count. I'm gonna pop my ability here. It is G. Oh, I just got it back. I don't know if you guys saw that, but... Bro, they're actually stealing elixir. I never popped the ability on the other LP. I'm gonna go back and watch that. There's no way I popped the ability on the LP. There's actually no way because I didn't. I just let it die to the bomber. No shot. I cannot believe I just got finessed. I didn't even try to pop the ability. Hello? Like, did they want me to choke the game? Okay, on to my next match here. And I just went back and watched that game. They definitely tried to finesse me. Like, I'm going to make an edit on that showing how I didn't even touch the Little Prince ability. Yet my elixir was taken away. I know it's not that deep. I mean, I still won the game, but... Like, imagine that happened during, like, a really tight game and I needed that elixir. Like, I needed the th three elixir. Imagine. Like, I would have been dead there. But, yeah, I just, I don't know why Supercell is such a, like, buggy game now. Like, I don't, they can't do anything right. I don't want to say anything bad because, like, they're actually kind of heading to the right direction right now. But they need to fix all the bugs and stuff. Like, some people still cannot get in the game, by the way. And the amount of game crash reports I've seen in the last week is actually crazy. But anyways, I'm gonna LP in the back here to cycle. Okay, this guy's playing Goblin Jewels, so I should be able to win this. He just played a Poison and a... Wait, he played like all the Expo counters. Hold on. Maybe I can get a lock here. I'm gonna Knight in front. I'm gonna go for... I guess I need to Rage on here because I need to take out the Bomber. Ouch! Expo is gonna die. Okay, Tornado is really good in this deck, by the way. The Bomber-Tornado combo goes crazy gonna try to activate king tower i guess i'll put it. no finger slip <laughs> okay that's like the 50th time i've choked the activation from that spot right there but it doesn't even matter in this matchup that i should be able to win either way but activation would have been nice i would have been able to defend better it's okay that i need to play it safe i'm gonna go for a bomber here i guess i'll just pump in the back and by the way guys i saw like a lot of pros playing the deck as well i saw mohammed light playing this deck just now like five minutes ago and then i also saw riley playing the deck i'm gonna put like real api screenshots i guess but yeah, I'm kind of making the tech popular. For once, I'm actually making the meta expo. I don't like it though, because I feel like people might try to make like a lot of counter decks and I don't know, the deck might be bad tomorrow. We'll see, but I want to get a top one with this before the deck goes to crap. Anyway, it's going to go for an expo on the right here. I'm going to go for an Evo Knight in front. Wait, that delivery was horrible. Wait, I might have won here. I'm going to bomber. Yeah, I don't see him defending this. Yeah, wait, this is, like, really bad for him. I'm gonna go for a Fire Spirit to block the Evil Bomber, and then I guess I'll go for a Knight to block it, too. Hello? Okay, just ignore my Knight. All right. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Why am I getting, like, terrible interactions right now? It's okay. It doesn't even matter, though, at the end of the day, because I'm gonna win this game by a lot, but... Yeah, that was just... I don't know. Maybe I just didn't play the Knight on time, actually. Yeah, maybe that was it. I'm gonna Alpine in the back to cycle. He might try to Valk or something. Okay, I'm gonna Bomber right now. I'm gonna go for an Electro Spirit it on the pump not too bad i'm gonna go for an expo on the right and i'll knight on the left here to kind of apply pressure i'm also gonna try to get the ability off on the bomber the evil valk and the delivery okay i'm gonna rage all this too okay i'm gonna go for a bomber right now okay he's back to evil bomber but that should die to max box but should be on the tower sometime soon actually gonna expo on the other side yeah he should not be able to defend this evil knight i have two expos on the field i'm gonna keep protecting my expos i'm gonna go for a fire spirit Expo's on the tower. I'm gonna go for LP on the right. Pop my ability here. Apply more pressure. Okay, I think he gave up. I thought he was going to Valk on the left. So I kind of like applied pressure on the right. But that is gonna be a super nice win. I'm gonna end the video there. If you guys enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And next video, I will try to go for top one. But this video, I am like a little bit short. I'm like top five and six and seven. But yeah, next video, I will. I promise I'll try to get top one. Love you guys. Bye.